Okay, I was talking to you about my friend, Tom McDowell, Thomas McDowell, and how he ended up dying of a heart attack, and I was living with him for two months. Well, this is the tribute video to him, you know. I uh, I don't know if I'll go to his grave site, but this time, th it was an emotional time for me, and because uh, I was trying to go into, uh, I was actually going to go to court against my, my dad, but... Uh, Ended up turning out to be, uh, he got innocent, and Tom was going to be a good, very good um, witness for me against my dad, who I don't see anymore, due to um, him trying to, uh, like, grab me and crap, like, like choke, try to choke me and wrestle me down, which he had, like, 20, 30 pounds over me, but what I'm trying to say is I lived at this house that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you right now, and it was a good time, and it got really... Uh, got really, I don't know what's up with that guy, but it got really freaking, um, it got smoky in there, he smoked all the time, and ended up, when he ended up dying, I used to, I took over this place for two, three months, and it helped me, uh, learn how to gain my independence, and yeah, so, there's the place, I had to, I had to mow everything, and there was a bunch of freaking weeds right there, and here's the, it, you just got spray painted, and you know uh, it was a good place to live. And ooh, it looks like they did that. It looked like they refurbished everything. This this was a lot like shittier before it looks now. And then this used to be a shed right here, but that's gone now. But you know I'd go over to his place, you know, here and there, and watch videos with him and watch movies and he had such a good attitude with everything so sorry about cutting out here there's some guys circling me with a motorcycle I think he's just learning how to use it do a motorcycle but um yeah the guy told me that there was brand new shingles brand new window new shower just pretty much everything brand new and in, in, you know new and improved house so it's good that you know it doesn't look like crap like it used to and tom lived in a very kind of sh shitty conditions he, his uh sister would never see him you know only here and there and he would pretty pretty much be by himself for such a long time and uh during the winter i'm sure he He's thought about suicide and whatnot, but, you know, I just wanted to make a little, you know, uh, you know, video about him. Uh, he was a very funny, funny guy, but, you know, he swore a lot when he was, oh, he swore quite a freaking bit, and he could go ape shit on you, like, uh, bombs and, or, he, you know, he had a grenade in his hand and all that, and, uh, it was, it was a lot, I mean, he, he would go, go nuts on people, and, who, who could blame him? He was in that house a lot, you know. Not much time outside, which I'm sure that plays a key role in someone's mentality. So, But I just wanted to show you a little video. I was talking to the neighbor, and he told me all about it. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, rest in peace, Tom.